Hey guys, Mel the Train Tutor back in the naughty corner and back with another tutorial for you. And in this tutorial we're continuing our sort of realistic wargamery scenery trees, trees sort of jolly we're on at the minute. Okay, and as you know, yeah, I'm in sort of a process of going through a whole load of different videos and we're looking at different ways of making trees, armatures and substructures and that sort of stuff. And this is a substructure video. So previously in the series, yeah, we've looked at how we've made our really simple wire armature. We did that in that vid. Yeah, and then we looked at doing, uh, flocking this up, giving it a, 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 a foliage just with basic lichen. Lichen! <laughs> Running joke. Okay, now we then re kick this series off and we've been doing a couple of videos. So we looked at using the lichen as a substructure and flocking it, and then we looked at wire wool as a substructure, yeah, and flocking that. Yeah, now what we're going to do is look at rubberized horse hair and we're going to be doing a bit more flocking. <laughs> we're flocking it. Yeah, so rubberized horse hair. Yeah, it's another upholstery material and it's really good. Okay, tell you what, come on over to the bench and I'll show you a proper look. Okay guys, so obviously we've got our armature. Yeah, it's taking some hammering on it. It's had a few flockings, this has. <laughs> yeah, but what you're interested in is this stuff, isn't it? Rubberized horsehair. Right, this is another upholstery material, a support. Yeah, it's really dense, it's really good sort of resisting when you're sitting on it and that sort of stuff. You can buy it from upholstery supplies, you can buy massive sheets for about about £12 for like a, a two foot by two foot sheet. Yeah, or you can buy it, what you call it, from scenic model supplies and you'll pay about a pound for something like this. Yeah, so it's down to you depending on how many trees you want to make, you know, which way you go. Now, it's basically horsehair. Yeah, there's big chunks of horse hair in it, to be perfectly honest, this place. If I bring it up, yeah, but it's been rubberized or vulcanized, as Ewan calls it. I love vulcanized. It's very Star Trek in it. Yeah. Vulcanized horse hair. It doesn't really go horse hair from Vulcan. <laughs> anyway, guys, sorry, I'm getting off topic, on I? But basically, yeah, it's a load of thick horse hair that's had a rubber coating put onto it. Yeah, and what it does is it makes it really wispy and stick to itself. So, what you've got to do when you're working with this stuff is basically pull it apart and pull it into bits. Yeah, so if we get a bit off, yeah, like that, I'll bring that up. Yeah, do you see how it's gone into a bit of a mesh? Now, because it's rubberized, you can pull it, you can twist it, yeah, and make it whatever shape you want. You start to see the substructure where we're going with this. Now another thing with this, yeah, is if I get another bit off, yeah, and we pull this down here, yeah, what you can do is if you come along and just pick them up, give them a bit of a twist, yeah, and pull them back and they will stick together. So it's really easy to slowly build up a support structure. Yeah, so we've got a wire armature here and what I'm going to very quickly do yeah, is just start putting this on, yeah, wrapping the bits round a few bits. We want that more clumpy, don't we? Yeah, like that. Bring that round there. Yeah, ah, yeah, that's looking good. Pull it up a bit. Let's get a bit of flump in it. Yeah, ah, let's get a bit more. Yeah. And put that on there. Come on. We really want that riding up a bit. Yeah. So, like that. Yeah, so so far so good. Yeah, do you see the structure? Don't worry about the big wispy bits. Yeah, we'll give it a bit of a haircut afterwards. Yeah, all we're looking to do right now is get the main structure on it. So, yeah, pull off another bit. Pull it out a bit. It's very arts and crafts, isn't it? I do love this sort of stuff. I do like trees. Trees are nice. I'm sounding like one of... One of what? I don't know. One of those students that used to smell of... Uh, was it Albert Oil or something like that? Or what was it? Patchouli or something like that? All the leather jackets coated in the stuff at, at college. Oh. Right, uh, we need a bit more here, don't we? Uh, so, pull a bit off. Look at that chunk. The horse got it in that one, didn't it? Pull that bit out. It is horse hair as well. If I bring it up, just let it focus. 
No horses were harmed in the making of this tutorial. I hope not, anyway. No, I can't imagine a horse would get off. So you've got me all paranoid now. I'm going to have Petra on my back, aren't I? Now I want that to, let's lift that up a bit. Put that on there. And put that on there. Yeah, tuck it over. Wrap it round, pull it back. Yeah. A bit more on here. Just hide that branch over. It's a bit, ah, uh, yeah, another one of those thick bits. Yeah. Sorry about rambling on this one, guys. Yeah. Give it a bit of a squidge round. And there you have it, guys. There's our substructure. Really wire wireless. Really wiry. Yeah. It's a lot less dense than the uh, Lichen method and a lot less dense than the wire wool method. Okay. But it does create a lovely structure. And does it look all right? Let's just tuck that in there. Yeah. Right. The next thing I need to do is. Ooh. I'm going to put that up there a bit. Raise that, yeah. The next thing I need to do is give this a bit of a blast. Yeah, and basically prime it. Now, we've done this before, yeah. I'm using Model Mate uh, Black Primer because it's the only black primer I've got at the minute. Yes, I really should use a brown primer. Yeah, because obviously it'll look more like branches. But I ain't got a brown primer at the minute, but I'll make sure we get one for future tree vids, guys. So, my next job... Yeah, is to go outside to give this a quick blast because I'm no longer allowed to prime in the kitchen. Wifey instructions. So, I'll see you in a sec, guys. So very quickly, yeah, before I have to take it back out again. There you are, it's all primed up now. Yeah. Okay. A little rough and ready. Uh, it's got a decent coating on to help it stick together. Yeah, so the next thing I need to do is take this back outside to dry because I'm not even allowed to dry them in the house anymore. And then we'll be back once that's done, guys. So there you are. Right. See you shortly. Okay, guys. It's all dry now. And as you can see, there you go. I think I missed a little just there, but it's not a problem. We'll catch that when we flock it. Right, flocking time. First off, we've got to give it a spray, a spray adhesive. Yeah, this is my preferred one, blue tack. Very quickly, we know how this goes because we've seen it before. Yeah, basically it'll frost it up. Yeah, round here. And then quickly round it underneath. Yeah, there we go. Right. It's all ready for flocking. Now, our... F our Flock of choice this time is from Jarvis. It's their coarse grass. I'll be honest, guys. Yeah, I've never used this to flock a tree before. Yeah, I normally use standard watch what flock. But I thought we'd give it a go and have a little bit of an experiment. You know the technique. You know the idea of it as a substructure. So even if it does come off looking a bit iffy, we should be okay because you've learned, you know, the horsehair bit, which is the important bit. So let's start sprinkling this on before this goes off. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'll be honest, guys. Yeah. Yeah, let's get underneath it. I'll have a look once we've got it done. It's a bit, that's a bit sticky. Because you sprayed it with spray glue melt. Yeah, yeah, I did, didn't I? There we go, guys. Right, what do we reckon? Do you know what? I quite like that. I really quite like that. I was thinking about highlighting it up like we did with the early ones with a little bit of... But I don't think I will. Right, next jobby. Okay, is... We need to very quickly seal it. Now, choice of sealant. You've got bog standard cheapo hairspray, or you can go for a clear matte varnish. Now, because this is quite bitty, actually it should be alright with the hairspray. Let's go with the hairspray. Does darken it up, obviously, while it's wet. It'll dry. Mm. 
There we go. Mm, it's clumped a few bits up. Right. Shall we highlight it? Should we? A little bit of a highlight? Yeah, go on, let's do a little bit of a highlight. Go on, we're having an adventure with this one anyway. I'm just really liking the effect of it. It does look nice. I think I will switch to this in the future. Right. Not sure if that highlight's going to be a little bit too much for it. Let's give it a blast and we'll just give it a subtle highlight and see how that pans out. Just a subtle one. So this is just replicating the sun leaves, the brighter leaves you get at the top of trees. They're a different colour because they have a different type of chlorophyll in them, yeah, which is more efficient with sunlight. Yeah, the darker leaves are more efficient with actually grey light, you know, sunlight through a cloud. Or through shadow, refracted light. So, it's looking good. I do like that. Right, next jobby, very quickly. Scissors, schnips. Yeah, and just give it a bit of a neaten. Yeah, just the odd bit which doesn't look quite right. Yeah, sometimes you get the loops, obviously, and just break them up by snipping through them. Yeah. Da -da -da. I think that's all right. So, guys, there you have it. Yeah, how easy was that? Now, remember, yeah, this is a rubberized horse hair, vulcanized horse hair substructure. Yeah, it is really beautiful. And I've got to say, with the coarse grass, it really does make it pop even more than the normal sort of flocking. So I'm quite, quite chuffed with that myself today. Yeah, uh, underneath, as you can see, really nice substructure to it. Yeah, obviously, we've got a bit on there. We'll clean that off, etc. We always do. This is a bit messy. Remember, you can protect your, your armatures with a little bit of cling film while you're doing your spraying, or you can leave the paint until afterwards. There's all sorts of ways of doing this. But yeah, overall, I think we're on a winner here, guys. Right, let me get cleaned up and we can come back at the end. So, guys, that wraps up another tree tutorial. Like I said, rubberized, vulcanized. <laughs> uh, vulcanized horsehair is a brilliant substructure, yeah? And I've got to say, using it with the coarse grass, beautiful. Really, really beautiful trees. And you saw how easy and simple it is. You know what I mean? Right. Rubberized vulcanized horsehair is not just for trees. Yeah, you can use it for shrubs. Yeah, it's a substructure. Okay, so any sort of bushy, foliagey sort of thing that you want to give a substructure to, this is your stuff. Yeah, like I say, it's, an it's available through specialist modelling firms. Yeah, but you can also get it, you know, searching eBay for upholstery stuff, but you're going to have to buy a big sheet. Okay, so it depends how, much, how many shrubberies you want. Yeah. Right, moving on. Obviously, yeah, this is the end of the sort of substructures. There's probably one more coming up further on, but I'll explain that as we get to it. Yeah, but we've covered most of the substructures now. We've done litching, yeah, we've done wire wool, and we've done rubberized horse hairs. If there's any other substructures you'd like me to take a look at, yeah, throw them in the comments, guys. Yeah, moving on, we're going to be looking at tree, more advanced tree armatures, yeah, and then we'll look at more advanced realistic foliage and that sort of tree foliage. So we've got a few more videos in this series to wrap up the, the sort of trees for now, yeah, and get this sort of done. Okay, so in the meantime, obviously like it if you like it, yeah, share it if you know anyone who's got any, if this will be of any help to. Yeah, if you've got any comments, any questions, any tips, anything you'd like me to try and look at, yeah, in the comments, guys. Yeah, and remember, I always reply to my comments. And finally, guys, you know, if you really do enjoy these videos, you know, if they help you with your hobby, or, or you know, if they save you a penny or two, please consider checking out Patreon and pledging a dollar a month. I mean, it's only a dollar a month, but really does make a difference guys. It gives me the materials, it gives me the camera kit, it gives me the time to actually film these tutorials and help you guys with your hobby. And if not, then no worries, no pressure, it's not what I'm about. We'll carry on regardless. So, until I see you next time when we'll be doing maybe rocks or trees or D-Day board. Or maybe a snowy city. Who knows? I'll see you in the next vid. Or, I'll see you Sunday night guys. All the best, yeah? Terra. <laughs>